The views. So pretty. If that describes you, then you should absolutely apply it, and we would love to have you join us. Hey guys, it's Jenny. Welcome back to my channel. Um, so today is Friday. I don't have any classes, but I decided to come to school to show you guys what uh, Columbia Business School looks like. And I have a friend here with me. You want to say hi? Hi. Hi, I'm Shirley. Do you guys know who Harry Kravis is? KKR. Guys, apparently this campus costs 600 million US dollars. Columbia Business School was ranked number one by Financial Times in 2023. I think this campus definitely added a lot to that. There are two main buildings here, Kravis and Giffen. This is the second floor Kravis cafeteria where students usually meet up for lunch, hang out and do some project work. The lunch menu changed sometimes, um, but I usually just get either yogurt or some salads to go. There are study rooms on every floor, but because we have a lot of students, we have to fight for these rooms. Let me show you guys what a classroom looks like. It's super modern, and I think you can fit around 60 people in every classroom. For the more popular classes, these classrooms are definitely pretty full. Guys, this is my favorite floor here at Columbia because of the views. Some floors are for PhD students and professor meeting rooms. And now let's head over to Giffen. If it's super cold and windy outside, we don't have to go outside. We can go through the underground. The underground is called the Link. So it's linking Kravis and Giffen Hall uh, with a bunch of student lockers. Now we're entering David Giffen Hall. You see a cafeteria. The biggest lecture hall slash auditorium is also located in Giffen Hall. This is the second floor alumni suite. A bunch of happy hours and post events are hosted here. Admission, Admission center. center. I've never been here, but I do think students come here to interview. Look, that's Kravis Hall and the Hudson River. I have a meeting with Professor Dan Wong today. He teaches tech strategy here at CBS. So I'm just waiting for him to finish up his last meeting. Hi, Jenny. Hi. The lighting is not very good. I told you it was not <laughs> very good. If you want to switch seats. Yes. This is my favorite professor. Oh, Hi. that's so nice of you. <laughs> Look at his setup. This is how Columbia professors have their setups for virtual classes. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, sometimes. Although we teach all in person right now. Yeah. But sometimes we have to do some things on Zoom. Yeah. So we got the ring light, you know. Ultimately, on average, the students who have used ChatGPT for their homeworks, they have much higher quality responses. In part because their answers and their thinking is much more Coding, also much more uh, elaborate because they have to explain the task to somebody else maybe they exactly. kind of need to go through things in their own head and that's an insight wow. that i would have never never had i think you articulated it super well mm -hmm. it's that you force yourself to type something mm -hmm. so you to think a little bit differently from how you might otherwise think and so the result is that you get much more sophisticated and elaborate responses 
Professor Dan, do you yes. have any words you want to say to anybody who's interested in pursuing their MBA here oh, at absolutely. Columbia? I will say this, Columbia Business School is not for everybody, but the people who realize that they want to come here and should be here all see a little bit of themselves in everyone that they meet, not just their fellow classmates, but also their professors. New York is a unique place. Its strength is its diversity. But in second place, I would say, the second biggest strength of New York is that we all also are a little bit competitive as mm. well. And it comes from a good place. And what you get with diversity and competition mixed within community, which is mm. what we have here at CBS, is that you get innovation. And some of the most creative ideas I've ever had have been in the classroom engaging with students because the kind of students who come here are the ones who have confidence, Yay. who are not afraid <laughs> to be provocative, mm -hmm. and also respectful at the same time. Thank and you. so I would say that if that describes you, then you should absolutely apply, and we would love to have you join us. Thank you.